Ariel Helwani in Las Vegas alongside Jim Miller who meets Diego Sanchez this Saturday at UFC 196 on the UFC Fight Pass prelims. Interesting stuff, interesting times. How do you feel about that, Jim? Um, you know, I'm, I'm just excited for the opportunity to fight and, and Diego's a, a, a tough fight and a good matchup for me, so um, I'm prepared to, to show off my best Saturday night. It's amazing, you guys have been around this sport and organization for a long time, never crossed paths. Was this a fight that you've always kind of thought in the back of your mind, that, that'd be a fun fight for me? Uh, he's definitely one of those guys that uh, I knew I'd probably end up meeting up with one day. Um, you know, it, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just, it, we're, we finally get to fight each other on Saturday and, and uh, it's got the makings for a great fight. Where's Jim Miller at in his career right now? Coming off a tough loss to Michael Chiesa, very interesting finish. Um, and, you know, the, the division continues to evolve. A lot of young guys coming up. Where do you, feel, do you feel like you're being overlooked? Do you feel like this is sort of a crossroads right now? Where do you, you know, where do you stand on your career? Um, you know, I, I take it day by day, fight by fight. Um, you know, that was one of those fights, the, my last one, where I was, I was beating him on the feet, I was beating him on the ground, and, and you just kind of get caught with a shot from a weird position. And, uh, you know, I, I tried to get out because I knew I couldn't handle another one of those, uh, you know, back fists where he hit me. And, you know, he was able to capitalize on the, on the scramble and, and, and finish me. Um, so it's, uh, it's just one of those things. It's, it's a very unforgiving sport. Um, I... I'm trying to prepare myself, you know, uh, and, you know, my family for the transition to, to not fighting anymore, but I don't know when that'll be yet. Um, you know, I'm still, uh, I'm still improving. I'm, you know, uh, I can still move. <laughs> I can still fight, you know, and, and I know that I can beat any of these guys if I, if I fight the way that I'm supposed to fight and the fight the only way I'm capable of fighting. Um, so I just... I'm just still looking for every opportunity I can to, to, to step inside the octagon. What would you like to do when you're done fighting? Do you, do you have a, a, I know you have the gym. Is that the plan? Um, I don't know what exactly. You know, uh, we, we got a couple things going, go, you know, working on uh, podcast, TV show, stuff like that. So um, we'll you're see. Coming to the dark side, the media coming side? Coming to the dark side, coming to the dark side, coming to the media side. You know, it, uh, I, I'm not the type that I would really want to be a, a, a commentator or anything. Um, you know, I like the atmosphere, but I don't know if I would want to travel around and, and follow it every week with how, with how much uh, or how many shows the UFC puts on and stuff like that. But, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. That's the thing. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of that balancing act. And unfortunately, um, you know, it's not, it's not the sport. The sport's not in, uh, at that point where me having a, a long career, uh, it's like, okay, I can, I can take, that, take that time to really evolve into um, what I want to do afterwards. There has to be that, that time where I'm, I'm doing a lot of things um, because I, I support my family with my fighting. So, um, so I'm trying to transition right now and, and kind of ease that burden so that when I do decide, hey, you know what, I'm going to hang them up, that it's not a, uh, a financial strain. How do you feel about the state of his career? He dropped down to 145, back up, always kind of looking for his spot and, and hasn't been on a run as of late. Where do you think he's at? The last tough one fighter left in the UFC? What, what does he have left, in your opinion? Um, you know, Diego is, he's got uh, an indomitable will, you know? Yeah. I mean, he's the, he'll be around as long as he wants to be around. You know, and he's one of those guys, I, I was watching him in, in Tough One, that was before I started training, you know, and, and I'm a veteran of the sport, you yeah. know, and it's, it's crazy because uh, he only has one more fight in the UFC, I think, than me. Um, so, you know, I, I think that he's capable of staying around for, for a bit longer. He does, uh, you know, he's got into a, a kind of predictable style, you know, and we'll see if he, that's the Diego that shows up on Saturday. Um, you know, and if it if it is, then we'll see how I deal with it. Um, but you know, he's uh, he's got a big feather in his cap for for being around this long and uh, having had the impact on the sport that he's had. It's interesting. Your name has come up a lot as of late because of Mickey Gall. He's trained with both you and uh, and your brother Dan. Uh, what's it like for you? I mean, 
I'm sure in a million years you never thought this 24-year-old kid would be getting all this attention, you know, 1-0 and going into yeah, the UFC. Yeah. What's that like for you guys, and how good can Mickey Gall be? Because I feel like right now he may not get the credit that he deserves because they think he's part of this whole, you know, circus. But does this kid have the potential to be an actual legitimate superstar in the UFC? He's got all the potential in the world. You know, Mickey's been, uh, you know, back when we were with AMA, uh, he was training us over there and um, for a couple of years uh, before the split there. And, um, you know, he's, he's been at our gym. He trained a little bit at our gym. He's, he bounces around. He trains with David Adiv and he trains out in, in, in PA a bit. Um, so I don't get to see him that much uh, nowadays. But, you know, it is a weird situation. You know, it's like here's this kid that's got one pro fight and now he's fighting in the UFC. And, um and it couldn't have happened to a better guy. You know, he's uh, he is one of the most genuine, nice, polite kids that I've ever met. And, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited for him. And, um, you know, he's he does have the potential. It's tough. It's going to be a tough road for him because you come in and if he gets to fight with, with Punk or not, 170s is not a, uh, not a division where there's uh, many easy fights. Yeah. You know, um, you know, I think 55s is, is very top heavy, and there's a lot of competition up at top. But we have a lot of there's a lot of a lot of fighters at 55 that uh, you know you could be groomed. Uh, he could be groomed up with. So um, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. But I, I think he's I think he's prepared for it, and uh, I'm excited. Does he beat Punk? Uh, he he destroys Punk. You know, uh, this like I said, this is a kid that's been in, been training since he was like 15 years old, and. And, uh, you know, was training at our pro practices, yeah, as, at, at like 17, 18, um, you know, and, and uh, he's, he's dangerous, he's talented everywhere, and um, he's, got a, he's got a great work ethic, too, so uh, he, he dismantles that guy. <laughs> Final thing, you mentioned AMA. I'm wondering, you know, now, do you have like a full-time head coach? Is that maybe what you guys are missing? Like back in the day, you had Constantino, and there was like a team there, but you've kind of gotten off on your own is it fair to say that that's been missing for you guys or are people like myself making too big of a deal out of that um you know i th i think that uh it'd be it'd be good and bad you know at, at this point i kind of i need to do what i need to do mm -hmm. and um my my training isn't so much that that regimented uh you know we're going we're going live on Wednesdays and Saturdays and, you know, and doing all this stuff. Um, I kind of have to, you know, flow with it and, and uh, do what my schedule and my body lets me do. So um, it's nice having the control and it's nice having, saying, okay, you know, I, I need this, this guy and this guy and, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's hop in the cage. And, um, you know, and it, that, that style of training that we did, it, it kind of, that's what beat me up. You know, I mean, I had, I had some tough fights. But uh, that that grind of of, uh, of training is is you know I, I was in the gym almost all year and it didn't matter if I had a fight coming up or not. Um, so you know now now having that control and, and and being able to say okay let's just you know do this instead of that and have the control over the practice um, I think is working out a little bit better for me. Good to talk to you as always. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.